Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a simple tutorial to share with you based on this book called A Beginner's Guide to Constructing the Universe, The Mathematical Archetypes of Nature, Art and Science, A Voyage from 1 to 10. So we've been working on the number 5 for several days now and we're working on the golden spiral and the golden rectangle and the golden triangle and it is all very thrilling working with this golden ratio. So today we're going to look at the different difference between the Archimedean spiral and the golden spiral doing this very simple demonstration. All you need is a straight edge and a pencil and a piece of paper. I started out in the center of my page and marked a half centimeter increment. Then I pivoted my straight edge 90 degrees and did one centimeter increment. And now I'm pivoting the ruler once again and going to do one and a half centimeters then two centimeters, then two and a half centimeters, and on and on. Now it's a lot easier just to do one centimeter increments because it's a little bit easier to keep track of how to increase your increments because you're increasing one increment every time you turn your ruler 90 degrees. Now I am using half a centimeter increment because when we start to do the golden spiral, it increases so rapidly that if we used a larger increment, we would not be able to get our golden spiral on this sheet of paper. So you would need to use a larger sheet of paper if you want to use larger increments. Now I am only eyeballing the ruler position and so you can see that it's not perfect between each of these spirals. If you are not keeping your ruler perfectly parallel, then you will have a little bit of discrepancy as you move along. So this is what it looks like when we've done several increments and several turns around the center. It looks phenomenal, even with those minor imperfections. So I'm doing my last line on this side. It looks like a maze. It looks like you're either going into the page or the page is coming out at you. It's a really neat demonstration to do. Here's the fun part. We're going to work on the golden spiral. And so we're going to be using the Fibonacci sequence in order to do our increments, starting with a half centimeter as our first increment. Our second increment is also going to be a half centimeter. Our third increment is going to be one centimeter. So the Fibonacci sequence is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and on and on. So it's the first two numbers added together to make the third number in the sequence. And then those next two numbers added together to make the next number in the sequence. But because we are using half a centimeter increments, we also need to half that number in the sequence in order for us to know how to draw our spiral using the increments that we're using and with the page that we're using. It wasn't big enough, so I did need to tape an extra sheet of paper so that we could do our last increment or our last section of this golden spiral and you can find all of the numbers that I used on the blog post that accompanies this video if you want to use the same increments that we used and this is what the golden spiral looks like which is vastly different than our Archimedean spiral so you can see the difference between them and how many turns around the center we were able to do with the Archimedean spiral versus our golden spiral. I also have two artifacts that I want to share with my students. One of them is a fossil of an ammonite and the other one is a seashell. And while both of these are not exactly the golden spiral because they are more logarithmic in nature, they do resemble the golden spiral quite a bit. I hope that you enjoyed this simple tutorial. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for all of the details and the resources that we used for this lesson. You can find that link down in the description box below. And if you'd like to see what we're doing for geometry on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.